This is the Australian National University Library. And this video will clarify once and for all when to reference in academic writing. Referencing is critical for academic success. Without it, your writing will be both a literal and figurative disaster. Referencing or citing correctly shows your understanding of the topic, provides supporting evidence for your ideas, arguments or opinions, allows others to identify the sources you have used, and helps avoid the worst-case scenario in your academic life – accusations of plagiarism. Here are the instances when you absolutely must reference. The first is obvious – quoting. This is when you match a source word for word, enclosing it nicely in quotation marks. If the quotation is more than 40 words, however, display it as a freestanding block of text without the quotation marks. Paraphrasing. This is when you express in a shorter, clearer or different way what someone else has said or written without the use of quotation marks. Even though you are not citing someone's specific words, you must acknowledge the author by citing them. Summarizing. This is when you are putting the main idea of an entire information source or chapter into your own words. This is usually a much shorter summary than direct paraphrasing of sentences, but it still requires a reference. And finally, synthesizing. This is where you combine different information and ideas from a range of authors to develop your own argument. You do not discuss each separately, but instead identify the overall points. In this case, you include references to all authors that informed your writing. Common referencing misconceptions. Lecture notes. They may be your notes from an amazing lecture, a webinar or a tutorial, but you must reference where the information came from. In this instance, your lecturer or tutor. Lived experience. All statements of fact or supposition, unless common knowledge, need to be referenced. For example, even if you are referencing an experience you had at work, you must cite yourself. When I worked at a company X in 2019, I observed that, etc, etc. In summary, whenever you use lived experience or any idea from someone else, be that a journal article, a book chapter, website, lecture or YouTube video, you should always cite the original author or authors to make it clear where the idea came from. Whether directly quoting, paraphrasing, summarizing or synthesizing, acknowledging your sources is not optional. If you're still in doubt, it's always best to check with your lecturer or supervisor. And don't forget, the ANU Library is here to help. We have an amazing collection of online materials and loads of guides available to support you. Just click the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Having trouble or need some specific assistance? If in doubt, just reach out. You can always contact the ANU Library for support. We're here to help.